Good morning, children. Children, today we will discuss about animals. Uh, as we are going through the revision part of lesson six, animals around us. Today we will discuss about movements of animals. Now, as we know, uh, we have seen, we see many kind of animals around us every day, and it is difficult to imagine the world without animals. The animal kingdom is so big, and there are variety of animals. And today we are going to see the uh, how they move from one place to another. If we talk about human beings, human beings have uh, two legs; they can move from one place to another with the, the help of these legs. But what about animals? When we talk about animals, we are talk about uh, we are talking about animals kingdom like big animal, small animal, very small animal, and tiny animals. Where we are talking about different types of birds. Different types of insects, uh, land animals, water animals, or we are talking about the animals that can fly, right? So let us discuss about how these animals move from one place to another. Now, children, you can uh, you know that fish they live in water. They don't have legs. Now, how do they move from one place to another in ship in this water? How they swim, children? They swim with the help of their fins. And what about their tails? Tails help them to take the direction in the water. Now, let's see. Fish move with the help of their fins and tails. Fins are used to uh, swim and move from one place to another. But tail helps them to take direction from one direction to another direction. They don't have legs. Next, we are talking about snakes. And arthorn wriggle on the ground. As you know, snakes and arthorns also they don't have their legs. They just they creep or wriggle in the ground. This way, with the help of their belly or with the help of their stomach, they just uh, creep along. They wriggle on the ground. This way, they go from one place to another. Yes, uh, for snake we talk about. It is very uh, difficult for a snake to. Uh, wriggle on a very smooth surface because it doesn't get its grip. If we see a snake uh, on the ground uh, on the field, we will find that it runs like anything. It can run fast, they're faster than you. But if we uh, see the snake on a very uh, glossy surface or very smooth surface, where proper tiles are there, you will see that it cannot wriggle properly. It has it uh, uh, speed automatically slows down. Come on, now let's see about animals like spider, octopus, scorpion, and starfish. They have eight legs. Now, if we talk about spider, you will say, man, it is an insect. No, dear. Spider is not an insect. Why? Spider has eight legs. We don't count it in an insect uh, category, right? Insects have six legs. Like if we talk about mosquito, a butterfly, or housefly, they have six legs. But spider, because we are seeing it in the form of an insect, it is not an insect. It has eight legs. So some animals do have eight legs. With the help of these eight legs, they are able to walk or they are able to move from one place to another. Now see, animals like caterpillars, centipedes and manipeds have many legs. Now these type of animals have two type of body. They have this caterpillar. What, how is the body of a caterpillar? Have you seen? You must have seen. Caterpillars are generally found in many colors. Maybe yellow, maybe red or maybe green or lemon yellow. So they are very colorful uh, animal, and these animals have many legs. You must have seen very minutely. We cannot see the legs properly, but if you have seen it very minutely, uh, you will find that it has many legs. Same way, the centipedes and millipedes, this type of animals also have many legs that helps them to walk from one place to another. Most land animals have four legs. Yes, that we know that is very true. That if we talk about simply if we uh, see a dog, a goat, uh, then cow, buffaloes, dog like a zebra, elephants, lion, tigers, they are all land animals. And most land animals have four legs which help them to move from 
from one place to another. Insects like ants, mosquito, house fly have six legs and some insects have wings to fly. As we have discussed that insects have six legs and this uh, insects can go from one place to another with the help of their legs. Also, some insects have wings to fly so they can go from one place to other. Right. Birds have two legs and wings to fly. Yes, you must have seen. Birds are on the day you must be seen. If you talk about a sparrow, day you must have seen a sparrow around your house. How it works? It hops and it chirps. So it can go and perch it around the branches with the help of its two legs. And it has wings also to fly. So we know that birds are the very beautiful and colorful animal on the earth because they can uh, fly even and they can uh, okay they can be on the land and they can be in the air also right so they are the most wonderful animal on the earth. Next we are talking about <coughs> some water animals have web feet that help them to swim. Now these water animals, <coughs> if we talk about these water animals they are frog, germs or penguins. What do they have? They have their feet, web feet that means uh, in this, between this uh, two uh, fingers, they have a thin skin like a uh, uh, thin skin like a uh, uh, shell with the help of which they are able to swim in water and this helps them to uh, move in water very fast. They are aquatic animals. So children, today we have known different types of animals, how they move from one place to another. Now as you know, uh, plants make their own food with the help of photosynthesis. Yes, they need water. They should be watered regularly. Uh, but uh, without uh, the help of humans, they can make their own food. Humans themselves can cook food. But what about animals? Animals, they cannot cook food. They cannot uh, make their own food. So they have to move from one place to another in search of food. So why not we try to help these animals? Why can't we serve them a small part of our food daily uh, during before our meal? We can uh, place some food and water in front of our house so that any animal, we are not talking about only a dog or only a cat or a bird, any animal uh, can come and eat this food. At least the animal will be satisfied with the uh, food. So children, here I end my topic, uh, movements of uh, animals. Uh, you keep watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can definitely uh, revert to your teacher in the live class. Thank you and have a nice day.